What's up, everybody? It's Mr. You Know Who from XMR Gaming. And today, guys, I'm bringing you another updated video on the PlayStation 4 Save Wizard. So, something you may or may not know about two weeks ago, Sony dropped the 5.00 firmware. And they also did another update sometime this week to 5.01 firmware, which caused the Save Wizard not to be compatible with both of the firmware updates. But as of today, or Saturday, pretty much everything is back to normal and everything is working correctly from what I know. Now, I like to say that I haven't did an update on my PlayStation 4. I'm still stuck on 4.474 and my save with it hasn't been updated yet because I had midterm. So I was busy in the week when all of this was happening, but I will do the update on my save wizard and test it on the lower firmware to make sure everything is working. Then I will update to 5.01 and then also make sure everything is working. But I just want to share with you guys what's taking place and what changed and what new features were added on the Save Wizard client so you guys are aware of what's going on. Also, I've been on my YouTube channel. I noticed that a couple of you guys are having problems with the new update to the client and you may not be aware of what actually changed and what's not working depending on what firmware you're on. So let's actually go over to the Save Wizard post on Facebook and see what actually changed. So for the resign feature on 5.01 and below, everything should be working correctly. As we all know, it wasn't working and they said sometime within a week they would fix the resigning feature on 5.00 and 5.01 and below, and everything seems to be working. Like I said, I didn't test mine because I haven't updated, but I'm going to update this week, and I'll test it out. And basically, you could take another person saved as the same region as yours and reassign it to your profile, and then you can use that save, and everything should be working. Also, they added a language support, which I'm assuming when on the client, you can go and change it to different languages that you want to have it on, and you can actually use the client. So it's not stuck on English. You can change it to probably Chinese, French, whatever, whatever, and you can still use the client. Um, the biggest change that I like is advanced mode. Now, on advanced mode, you can now import and export game save files. What that means for everybody is that if you can export a game file and you have a save editor that either you downloaded from someone or you created, you can alter that file and then import it back into Save Wizard and I'm assuming reassign it to your profile with the changes made from the save editor that's not affiliated with say wizard and everything should work. A prime example would be XB36 Hazard. If you don't know who he is, he does a lot of Grand Theft Auto videos and he has his own save wizard. I subscribe to him. He's a cool dude. He subscribed to my channel. He told to me, if you don't know who he is, go holler at him. He does Grand Theft Auto up the ass. You know, Grand Theft Auto 4, Auto 4 5, so on and so on. But he's a cool person. You know? I, I respect him. So, prime example, he makes a, a save editor, right? And you can't use it in conjunction with Save Wizard because it's not affiliated. Now you can. So, what that means is that I can take a Grand Theft Audio save, export out the files, <laughs> import it into uh, XB36 Hazard save editor, edit the files, export it out, import it back into Save Wizard, and then reassign it, and I should be good to go with the changes. Even if Save Wizard don't have the same cheats as XB36 has a Save Editor, I should be good. This is a good thing because this gives people the incentive to create their own Save Editor, right? And then you can export the files out of Save Wizard, and then use it in their save editor and bring it back in, reassign it, and you're good. So this is a plus. But Save Wizard saying that it's still buggy. During the weeks, this should fix all the problems, and it should be good. It's like 
uh, also a solution to the re-region of Explorer, where you take another person's save and want to change it to another region. Now, I'm going to test this feature out because there's a couple of things that I like about it. If I can take a Euro save and import those files inside a save wizard to my US profile, right, and reassign it and everything works, that means that I can probably use Exploder, right? Because predominantly Exploder saves are from Euro. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm just waking up in the morning. Uh, from Euro and then take that save, get the files, import it into Save Wizard, and then change it to my US and reassign it and everything should be working. But it's not a hundred percent guarantee. There's just things that I'm thinking on how to use the advanced mode because if you bought Exploder, they have a hundred saves, say about that. And most of them are from Euro. And if you could do from Euro to US and import and export and files and reassign them in advanced mode, you are good to go. And they work. That's a plus. But nevertheless, I would rather rely on Save Wizard to fix this feature and give them some time and it will work 100%. But it, these are things that I'm just thinking about on how to use it correctly, you know? But that's the main thing with the advanced mode that changed or was added to the client. Also, I want to talk about a couple of errors with the Save Wizard. I realized that somebody told me in a post that if you have the same wizard on 4.50 and below and try to use advanced mode, it will not work. Uh, it may give you uh, an error problem or it may corrupt your save. I don't know if that's true. You guys let me know if it is because I'm way past 5.0 firmware. But if you are on a lower firmware, which is 5.0 and below, and you use you try to use advanced mode, it may corrupt your save or it may not work. So I don't know if it's true, but let me know. But that's pretty much it for the update to the save wizard. I would recommend everybody if you're on five point and above, all you gotta do is really update the save wizard client, and then everything should be back to normal. You test it out and you should be good. If you are on 5.00 or 5.01, then basically, yeah, you can go online and everything should be good on your PlayStation 4. Just let us know if everything is actually working correctly. Because again, I don't want to really update to 5.0 or 5.01 and then shit go downhill because shit changed on the PlayStation 4. So I don't want to really fuck with that. But I probably gonna update the client because I have to to use it. But I probably will not update my PlayStation 4 um to 5.00 or 5.01 because again I don't play online so my firmware is still within that range that's compatible with the save wizard. So I I probably stay on it for a while but you know, I I will uh, update eventually, but there's no urgency to update. But that's pretty much it, everybody, when it comes to the Save Wizard update and what's going on. I will be dropping a couple of videos this week or between today and tomorrow so that you guys can watch. Um, like I said before, I'm back to my normal schedule, no more midterms. I'm here, I'm watching my YouTube channel, so if you need anything, hit me up on my YouTube channel. As always, it's Mr. You Know Who from XMI Gaming. Check out my gaming channel, and as always, peace.